Doctors are finding out that uh, COVID-19 may be hurting more than your lungs. A new discovery shows how it can actually wreak havoc throughout your body. Alan Martin reports on the complication of tiny blood clots. In ICUs around the world, medical teams are witnessing a strange phenomenon. So this is new. Um, this is something that obviously has us on alarm. The virus is not just causing severe lung injury. In some cases, younger patients are suffering from strokes, heart attacks, and kidney damage. Typically, you wouldn't expect to see a stroke in, like a young 40-year-old person. The apparent culprit? Abnormal blood clotting that appears to be widespread. Clotting in the heart, clotting in the lungs, clotting in the kidneys, clotting in the brain arteries. We think of it as uh, basically a war going on in your bloodstream. Dr. Wade Smith is a stroke and neurocritical care expert at UCSF Medical Center. He says while there's no hard evidence as to why the virus may promote blood clots, here's one theory. When your body's exposed to a lot of inflammation, which happens when the virus attaches to the lung tissue, clotting mechanisms get, can be turned on to an abnormally high level. And that may cause a condition where blood clots form throughout the body. The virus may also promote superficial clotting and very strange skin rashes. Anything from diffuse rashes to those um, that have been more recently reported and described as COVID toes or purple red itchy toes. Dr. Sarah Young is a dermatologist with the Cleveland Clinic. The clinic is documenting cases and collecting the evidence. Some people are wondering if that has to do with small clots in the blood vessels, but we really don't know the cause of the variety of rashes. As for ICU patients, blood clots are an extra threat. Those on ventilators are put into medically induced comas. If in the middle of that they have a stroke, you can't tell because they're sedated. And that could delay timely stroke treatment. In San Francisco, Alan Martin, KPIX5.